shooting Snapchat right now. You all on camera. Hey. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, YouTube, and welcome back to Snatchro Remedies. Today's video is going to be about how to make your natural deodorant work. So a lot of commercial deodorants have aluminum in them, they're causing breast cancer. I mean, I know when you found that out, you were like, what? I found that out, like, what? We can't have this. Let's get into some natural stuff and start using natural deodorants. But man, about two, three hours into the day, you start smelling a little ripe. Now maybe not quite musty yet, but definitely ripe, not okay. So I wanna show you guys the little things that I learned along the way on how to make my natural deodorants work. We're gonna talk about food. Yes, we talk about food on every single video because it's so important to your health. If you're funky, if you have a lot of body odor, nine times out of 10, what you're eating is also causing that body odor. So you wanna start eliminating things that are gonna to continue to make you funky. First and foremost, alcohol. Stop all the drinking. Alcohol metabolizes in the body into acetate, and acetate creates like this kind of sweet odor when it comes out in your sweat, but in abundance of that, that odor will get stronger and stronger and stronger, and before you know it, you're battling with the funkies. A couple of foods you wanna let go of, like broccoli, Brussels sprouts. You know when you cook broccoli and Brussels sprouts, it kinda has a little funk to it, kinda like, you know, who pooed it? It's gonna do that in your body too. It's got loads of sulfur in it. So if you're eating a lot of broccoli, if you're eating a lot of Brussels sprouts, onions and garlic, like you wanna be careful of eating those foods if you're already struggling with some body odor issues. Another food you might wanna back off on is the red meat. The fatty acids in red meat can be really acidic in your body. Again, throwing off your natural pH balance and just causing that little extra odor. Last but not least, asparagus. You know when you eat asparagus and you go to the bathroom, you know, and you pee and it's kind of funky? It's gonna do the same thing out of your pores too. When you're sweating, you're gonna, you know, get that same odor that you just smelled in your urine. It's also gonna come out in your skin. Now let's talk about hygiene. Hygiene is everything. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. So when you're taking your showers or your baths and you're getting out, I know a lot of us like to kind of leave our body a little damp and let it air dry, but you wanna be really careful doing that. A lot of excess moisture on the skin can cause body odor as well because it's not completely drying. So it becomes like a breeding ground for bacteria, fungus, anything like that just to add on to the funk. Make sure you're drying off completely before you oil up and put your clothes on. Another thing I learned was the fabric of clothing that you wear. You're gonna sweat, I'm a sweater, so hey. You really wanna stick to natural types of fabrics like cotton, bamboo, hemp. Try to find those fabrics and get into them because those fabrics are gonna absorb your body sweats. If that sweat just continues to sit on your skin, it's gonna cause more body odor. If you're gonna have a hot day, definitely wear an undershirt that's made with cotton before you style and profile. You need something to absorb that body sweat. Another thing that I learned was body hair. If you're struggling with body odor and it's heavy, you might wanna shave a little more. Just a little trim, 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 you know? We all shave our armpits mostly. Get a little trimmer, trim it up. It will definitely help because that sweat sits on top of those hair follicles and builds up all day, and it just creates a lot of friction and funk. Body hair. Another hygiene tip that I have is exfoliating. The areas that you sweat out a lot, exfoliate them regularly. Your armpits, ladies, your bikini lines. These areas, you definitely wanna keep the skin and the dead skin off so that they can continue to breathe. I found that exfoliating on a regular basis is really, really helpful. Another thing that I do is I like to go to bed with no deodorant on. You need to give your skin a time to just kinda like breathe, you know what I mean? If you need to do anything, I'll witch hazel, just to kinda keep the skin really clean so it can breathe. It needs air, circulation. That's definitely gonna help decrease your body odor. Now, you know I'm taking some extra herbs or supplements to help with this body odor. One of my favorite supplements to take is chlorophyll. Chlorophyll pretty much is the same thing that's found in all green vegetables and plants. It is just a concentrated version of it so that you can really get it into your system. I'm always running, doing something strenuous, 
Plus it's summertime, so it's hot as hell outside right now. This is amazing. I put about two tablespoons in a tall glass of water and I make sure I drink that throughout the day. I feel like water is gonna help flush out the system. And chlorophyll cleans out your blood, like it literally cleans the toxins out of your blood. Get your chlorophyll in, chlorophyll is it. Another thing that I take is oil of oregano. And if you know anything about this, it is strong but it works really great. And this really helps eliminate fungus and viral infections and all types of just bacteria and grossness that's stuck in the body. Take it slow on this, give your body a couple weeks to adjust before you do the full dose. That's just what I would do. Now we talked about showers and baths, but we didn't talk about soaps yet. And I have two of my favorite all natural antibacterial soaps, Neem and Collodial Silver. The aroma, oh, it smells so good. The Collodial Silver soap is my favorite Mm. Oh, it's my favorite. It smells like you just walked into the most expensive spa in Beverly Hills, or in New York City, or in Canada, or in Japan, wherever you're at. This bad boy it just makes you feel like you're in a spa while you're in the shower, so it's super relaxing, which gives you those nice flow of endorphins. By the time you get out of your shower, you're just ready to face your day. I love my colonial silver. So now, the star of the show, the actual deodorants. I know there's a million deodorants out there that are natural deodorants, but these are my favorite, and I've used them for different reasons, and I'm gonna tell you why. With natural deodorant, you wanna have a couple different brands. Don't think that, oh, I'm just gonna use the native and I'm gonna use that for everything. No, 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 no. You gotta be creative with these deodorants. First off, I'm gonna go into native. This is coconut vanilla. It smells so good. It's more of a pasty deodorant. It does work, but if you're gonna be outside just like working your ass off, this one's only gonna take you about three quarters of the day. I don't like to use this after a shave. If I use this deodorant within a day or two after I've shaved my underarms, I will break out really, really bad. Now, the essential oils deodorant. First of all, these are liquid, and I love liquid. A hot yoga class is 90 minutes long, you guys. Any deodorant that can make it through that is on my list. Any fragrance that this brand have is a go-to. And then next, we have OG Crystal. We all know, we see this at Gelson's and Whole Foods. This is another good one, but this is one for the winter time period. At no point in the summer do I really rock with this. Now, this deodorant is good as a backup. I definitely keep one of these on me at all times because you just never know. So that's what I like to use this deodorant for winter times or just keep it in my bag as a quick backup. And last but not least, this is the most simple deodorant. This is a crystal deodorant mist and it is the best one hands down on this table. And when I tell you what's in it, you're gonna be like, that shit don't work. Trust me, it works. You see how this looks like water? This is all natural, pure, crystal mist deodorant. There is nothing in this, no aluminum, kills bacteria. The only thing that is in this is mineral salts. If you taste this, it tastes just like salt water. I'm not gonna lie. I was skeptical. It's strange. But what's crazy is there's something in the minerals and the salt that actually fights off any odors as you're sweating. It's crazy how this works. Trust me, you're gonna be good all day long, period. I'm gonna have links in the description box for all these products. So these are my natural deodorants, these are my natural soaps, these are the supplements that I take when I'm keeping my natural body odor down. One of the things that I felt like I learned over trying to get rid of body odor naturally is how deep of a level of a detox you need to do. Don't think in a week you're gonna be cured, but give it a couple of months. But after that couple months, if you've tried all these natural deodorants and you've tightened up your diet and you're trying all these antibacterial soaps and you're taking the right supplements but you're still struggling with it, I would definitely get to a holistic doctor because there might be something else underlining going on there. It could be a severe fungal infection in the body, a severe severe mold infection, you never know. That's definitely what I did. This is how I'm learning all this great information that I wanna share with you all. We're trying to keep everybody smelling good and fresh and natural over here. If you like this information, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, get those notification bells going. Hit the comment section, let me know what's going on. What's your favorite natural deodorant? Do you have any other tips outside of what I've talked about? Like, really let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This natural remedy saved my life, I hope it saves you too. Peace, peace, peace. Another thing. I don't know. I'm just like, I. Okay. Cottons and bad booze. I'm dying.